me just unmute everything so I can check we're working. So no idea what to expect other than other than potential disappointment, but we will play some other matches uh, regardless. So you don't need to worry. There'll be there'll be plenty of content. Plus I've got I think I may have some um, some trade ups to do as well, which will help. So either way, we'll we'll be. Will be good for content. Will be good for. Will be good for YouTube content. That's for sure. And we'll see. Now, I did do the hoops tournament earlier in the day. Um, I didn't stream it, like I said, I might. <laughs> it would have required me just to come back on straight away, and the the the, the leap it was too quick to set up. So. I wasn't able to stream it, but uh, it, it didn't miss much. We got knocked out in the second round, and my teammate accused me of barging him out of the way of a save. But the truth is, I didn't see him because he was behind a net that I couldn't see through properly. So there you are. <laughs> That's precisely what happened. Oh. I don't even know if this is a 3v3 or a 2v2, I didn't check. It's 3v3, okay. We are as good as ready. Um, or if it's just me entering, no it's not. Shame. Me. Oh, is that the new rocket bus decal that uh, that guy's using? Because the new decals in the rocket bus look dope. The Fennec with the mainframe looks pretty dope, not going to lie. That is really nice, look at that with, I think, white zombies as well. And we've also got uh, another Fennec 
can't tell what decal that is, but he's got the some wheels from the previous uh, rocket pass. I forgot what the wheels are called, what the TikTok wheels or something like that. And on our team we've got uh, crystallized uh, Dracos with ice wings and a frozen decal, which looks incredible. So credit to HMJQ8 for for that. And uh, a Pico with a very nice uh, green distortion on the Octane with the... Uh, I can't quite tell what wheels they are. Obviously they're crimson of some variety. Let's see what wheels they are. Yeah. Well, at the minute it's looking like a 2v2 or a 2v3, 3v2, you know. <laughs> Just going to spin around on my axis for a few seconds then. Should use my show off octane, shouldn't I? Rather than this one, but, hey, you know. Well, these two Fennecs are at a bit of a disadvantage. Mind you, having said that. We've only got, like, two active players on our team as well, so it's effectively a 2v2. Oh, this is so unusual. <laughs> uh, that took care of that problem. I've got a funny feeling we may need the last chance here. Because even if we get through this, I don't know if we're going to have a fair shot at the next round with, with one player AFK. So, I don't really know what we're going to do here. That's a good shot, then. <laughs> Turn my sound up a little bit. And there we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, yeah, I'm not really sure what we're going to do, really, because uh, we've only got two active players, it would oh, yeah, seem. There you. Hmm. This is a tricky one. <laughs> this is a dilemma, to say the least. Nice shot. <laughs> oh, hang on. The dude's now active. Um, I'm not sure what to make of that, but still, <laughs> I'll take it. Probably the weirdest start to a tournament I have ever had. <laughs> And now we wait. An ordinately long time, because that was over way too quickly. Don't drink out the relentless, can you fool? Put this 
it's over here, so I can't. So I'm not tempted to just take the top one. There we go. Oof. Right, I can see when you guys are about to go to adverts, I think. If I keep the mod view like that. There we go. Cool. I think we are the boost squad, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Are our cars in the lobby? Yeah, they are. Look at that. What wheels are they? I can't quite tell. The new Dracos look pretty sick, though. Not going to lie. He's bought tears in the rocket pass. <laughs> Oh, he's got the fish on top of his car as well, look. Didn't spot that. I might change my octane skin here. Like uh, yeah, there we go, that'll do. Joining round two. Let's go. Here's hoping it joins us. Yeah, there we go. Without crashing my game, it'd be a start. And once again, one of our players isn't readying up, which is always readied up. Okay, cool. I like how my car appears black in this light. That's pretty pretty cool. Oh shit! Didn't want to do that. So whatever happens, this is the only tournament that we enter tonight. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh no. Frick. Ah, frick. Just go, just go, just go. It's fine. Just need to calm down a bit. do their thing. I'm going to stay back and just in case I need to do anything major, which I probably will. Oh, dude, I could have... Never mind. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We good. No. <laughs> Stay back a bit. Oh, god darn it. That's going to just go wide, it does.
No, that's not gonna work. Got it clear at least. Yeah, the worry is if it goes to extra time, they've got twice the number of shots on goal that we have. Ah, no! Could be. No, it's, they've got a guy defending all the time, you see. Stop that shot coming through. Oh, for God's sake. Oh. Nearly. That was the one, lads. That was the one. Then we need to take the goalie out, is what I think we need to do. Oh, that's, un that's so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Don't worry about it, Nico. Now, Pico, don't you worry yourself, mate. I've seen that sort of thing happen to many, many people. <laughs> ah, well. One of those things. Got some rewards to claim, though. That's good news. Left anyway. Cool. Um, I'm trying to type in in the uh, party chat, but it's fine. Um, yeah, let's open some rewards. We know what the rewards are, of course. We've seen them before. Um, there's nothing really that I want in terms of wheels. I mean, the rewards are a bit meh, really, aren't they? That's pretty nice on that car. The trail's all right. Wouldn't mind the boost, actually. Apart from that, there's nothing really that I want. But... But I may as well redeem stuff, because I can't do anything about it next season. Oh, I equipped them by mistake. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, yep. Yep. And I think there's room for one more. Oh, there's, there's room for one more now, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I inadvertently equipped the shades. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I just customise car real quick and just go into West Toppers. All these toppers that you could have, look. An accordion, no? Have a unicorn on your head, battle axe. I've got so many, like toppers that realistically I'm never going to use ever. Look at them all. 
A lot of these are like rocket pass items from like way back in the day. When did I get that? <laughs> remember that? Yeah, remember them as well, yeah. Oh, this one. If you equip it, listen carefully. <laughs> Dead mouth. Scored over 1,000 goals with that on my, as my topper. Oh, you're the drone. When that was a thing. When you could get, when you could get painted toppers in the uh, rocket pass. Excavator. Fairs. All sorts of proton pack. Oh, pipe. <laughs> he actually does that during the game, apparently, as well. Actually, I used to use the um, portal cake. No, it's gone. Bolt jangle. A jolt bangle, even. Yeah, jolt bangle, that's what I said. That's from like, the very first rocket pass, I think. Um, Salty Shores, Lunchbox. The lunchbox. Oh, well, three lunchboxes, and there's another one coming up in this rocket pass. Uh, Phoenix Wings looking good. There it is, Portal Killer. That goal was 5,585. I used to rock that all the damn time, because my joke was it's not football unless you've got a cake on your head. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I've got some placement matches. I've got my placement in 1v1s, which as you can see was gold, so a bit meh. Uh, we are going to go into some more placements for drop shot though, because we haven't done those yet. I started them, but I've not finished them. Okay, so I started, so I haven't quite finished yet. Okay, let's see how we get on. I was doing this right before I started that tournament as well. All into trade-ups. God damn it, I've got some trade-ups to do. I just remembered. I'll do them after this match. Whoops. Oh, god damn it. Trying to knock it clear and it didn't work. That worked. There we go. Always 2v3. Victory is ours! I've got a dude using a scarab. Good on him. Good on him. Oh, I've got no boost, that's why I couldn't do anything. Um Oh no. Yeah. For God's sake. Oop. Oh no. No, 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 no. That's okay, I think. Nice shot. Oh, for God's sake. I had no chance there.
Let's check something real quick. Oh god darn it. Don't worry about it. Still don't worry about it. Proof it clear. By any means necessary. Yes, just about had enough uh, impetus to bounce it. Oh god damn it. Well I could have done something about that, but you know, as it as it is. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, that's good. That could go in. Nearly. Nearly. Okay. Don't know why I bother trying that, because it never works. Why you do this to me? Why you do this to me? Oops. Okay. Oh, damn. Oh. No, you don't. Nice. Oh, so close. That was so close. I thought we had that then. Ah oh, well. It's all good. <coughs> Whoops. Ugh. Right. Let's go again. I was checking something. I was checking something on my screen. Oh. Just waiting for another. Waiting for another um, match to start up. <clears throat> I mean, that was a close call, no denying that. Okay, here we go. Oops. Nice.
Demo. No demo. <laughs> oh god, damn it. Run away! Playing a team, they are. I thought they were. Are they on the same? They're not in a clan, but they are in a call. Okay. <coughs> Makes more sense. Steady. No. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Ugh. Okay, cars flying everywhere. I had that, but never mind. Never mind, never worries. Ooh. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Although, although, I'll take that. <laughs> um, exactly how I planned it. Exactly how I planned it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh, come on. Really? You're going to do me like that now, are you? God damn it. There we go. Passed it superbly. Oh, come on. Why did you save that? What do you have to go and save it for? <laughs> you know what? You do you. You do you. That's risky. Did it well though. Oh, that's what we wanted. Oh. <laughs> I did not deserve that, but I got it. <laughs> that was literally all I was after. I thought, oh, they're going to save it. But no, <laughs> couldn't quite hit it properly, I don't think. But even if they score now, we're in the pound seat still. What a great situation to be in. I'm less worried about that big hole now. Ah, uh, no. 
Nice. Okay, we're good now. Give myself some extra points. Yeah. I will happily take that. Who's got the um a new the new black market tournament decal? Although I'd have chosen some better colours, quite honestly. Uh, we'll do this till eleven o'clock, then we'll do something else. Should I do marbles or not? Tempting, but you know what? I might just do that. Ow, my leg! I might just do that. Just for the lols. Nice, nice double hit then, actually. No, no you don't. There we go. Oh, really? There we go. Nope. That's not going to work. Ah, shit. Oh no, that's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> that's not going to work! Just a bit... I hit it backwards, I shouldn't have done that. I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. Nice. Kind of. Nope. No, that's not going to happen either, is it? Back up, back up, back up. Ah. Ooh. Nah, there's no... Nothing there to go for. That worked, though. So, basically two defensive errors have left to the two goals so far. That's a good shot, though. That's a good hit. They're in a call, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I thought they were. That's why they're stealing all my points. Then the second something goes wrong, they'll blame me. Thing. 
No, it could have been better. Oh, for God's sake. Nah. Not going for that. Hopefully they can hit it forward, which they can. Mm. Don't know why I'm so worried. It's over this. The ball's at their end. And they've got some heavy defending to do. Oh, for God's sake. That's okay, I guess. Oh. There was a chance that could have gone in. Get out of the way. Clear that. So nearly. Oh, I can't believe I did that. That could go in. Oh, so close. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fennec user. <laughs> I'll use my Fennec actually as well. Yeah, good stuff. I will do one more match. <laughs> Just seeing who else is live. No one special. <laughs> well, unless I've seen so far, anyway. Now stay low, stay low, stay low. I mean, I'll get the get the hit in. Oh, what a save. Oh. Don't know why he's staying intentionally hard for. Not sure what he's doing, but he's doing something. That's it. There we go. I'll take those assists all day long, mate. <laughs> did someone leave the match? Yeah, they did. Silence. Player left the match. That's one third of their squad gone. Oh dear. Oh dear. When the car does that, it just sort of bounces around you and you can't control it. 
He shoots, he scores. That's beautiful. You love to see it. You love to see it. I don't think I could count that as a match either. <laughs> I want to get at least one more level up in this in this session. Oh, God sake, those bloody things. You cannot have a topper classed as an exotic, okay? You just can't. Ridiculous idea. Ridiculous. <laughs> Oh dear. <clears throat> there we go. Oh dear. Oh no, 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 no. Oh dear. Can't even get near to them. Nice shot. Lovely. Oh no! Oh Jesus Christ, man. Are you kidding me? There we go. <laughs> that is as close as you can get to scoring without scoring. Yep, that's good. Got a nice, oh, got a nice target to aim for, but then again, so have they. So. Realistically, expect this to go to at least one all. Stopped it from going down the hole, but didn't stop them from getting a big hit. Yeah, let it go in. Let it go in. We can start. We can. Re we can. We've got a nice big target to aim at. We can get the goal, and then we can reset. In theory. <laughs> Probably won't work like that, but that's a theory. Send it. Oh, are you kidding me? Nice shot. That's what we want. Straight away. Nice no, straight away. Come back straight away. That's what we need. what I was talking about with resetting. Okay. Stay back a minute. Okay, let's... No. New. Okay. 
Ah. Steady. The concentration's immense here. That's looking good. New. Whew. There we go. For once, the double tap helped. Yeah. Oh, could go in that side. No, not a chance. Not a chance. Sometimes I get I'm streaming, so I have to do some kind of commentary as well. Oh. Yes. shot <laughs> I thought it was GG so I just said I was about to type in GG and thought oh no we're going to time aren't we whoops a daisy hence the quick correction but that's a great um, a great win that don't look nice with their matching purple cars <laughs> Tempting fate, my dad does sound a lot better. Let's try this name. Oh, actually, come out of there. I can make a start on the next, um, on the next one. Right, hang on, season, right, let's, let's, let's claim some stuff. I'm not opening any drops, but I'm, I'm going to trade up some stuff. We haven't got much to do, but we've got a bit. Uh, three of those. And two of those. Normal lightning. Okay. I see you. I see you. I can't trade anything up here, can I really? Nah. I can get some... Oops. Yeah, trade those up for now. Get myself a hot comic. Let's trade up some blueprints then. Uh, two of those. Trade those up. Polygrid. Oh yeah, it's the paint finish. It looks like the um, the uh, black market decal. The name I've forgotten. Trigon. That's it. Fennec Bodacious, which looks like that. Not a fan, if I'm being honest. Uh, let's get some import items. I might just keep those, if I can. Yeah, very nice. And... Mm, Oh, go on, then I can get some more of those at some point. Fennec Uzi. Right, let's get an exotic item. We can get a black market uh, blueprint out of this, actually. And realistically, I ain't going to use any of these things. Oh, I like the extempore radiant, though. Ah, screw it. Screw it, let's get a black market, see what we get. 
Wall point, good stuff. And then black market trade up. Carbonator. Gold explosion. Looking kind of nice. And we can't get a... Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's glitched. It's glitched. We, we can't get a rare trade, a very rare trade up there, so yeah, it's glitched. It glitched on me. How oh, long is that? It's a, almost an hour of Rocket League. Um, I'm torn as to what to do now. Hmm. Hmm. I could continue on this. What else can I do? Gems of War, perhaps? Fortnite, Forza, Grid, uh, Project Crafter, for Golf, perhaps? Can't do Minecraft, because I've got to do some stuff with that. Tell you what. Let's see if there's anything different with uh, golf with your friends, because I've not been in there for a while, so I'll see you in a moment. I'm back on the other Back on the other side. <laughs> Could contain flashing imagery. I doubt that. I doubt that very much. I've not been in here for a while. Oh, couch mode. Nine hole game with custom settings. Making the ultimate casual experience. Max course length. Game setting length to customize number of holes. You'd like to play from a single hole all up to 18. Quick play option for local games. You can play past the pad golf on a random course. Custom length within seconds. Perfect for getting there. Okay. Downloadable content. <laughs> Don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That's the downloadable content, it would seem. Um, local course random. So they put a randomizer in now, look, so you can play whichever course comes up. Still have Bouncy Castle, that's good. Uh, there's also online, obviously. Customize, change profile, okay. And we'll just go online. Oh, actually, hang on a minute. What are these up here? Oh, these are the settings, okay. What's that? Oh, your personal stats now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see let's see what's happening online. While well, I check some notifications real quick. <clears throat> Oh, someone liked a comment I made on YouTube about the uh, the M27 motorway. Uh, someone's asking why don't Toyota want a second race in America? <clears throat> well, you know. The temptation is to say, well, they're Toyota and they do what they want, but <laughs> that would be... That would be me sort of being a bit facetious, if I'm being brutally honest. Now, does my opponent know the shortcuts to this course? 
That's not going to go in, is it? I haven't played this game for a good few months, I'm on my own anyway. I think my voice is coming out in game as well, so I'm going to have to sort that out real quick. This won't take two seconds. And there we are, that should be fixed now. <clears throat> I forgot to put myself into a party. Whoops a daisy. I forgot to put myself. Alright, should be that should be good now. Just answering Ryan Frick's uh, comment about why Toyota doesn't want a second second race in America. For the World Endurance Championship. And then I'll tell you what I've written. <laughs> Oops, so daisy. So basically, Toyota say it's because they want the championship to visit as many countries as possible, and if there's two in America, that means there's like, why are we in hockey mode? I don't mind, I'll play hockey mode, but... I didn't want to do hockey mode. But anyway, I'll do hockey mode, I don't know. What was I saying? They want the, they want the champ... The championship should go to as many countries as possible, and if there was like multiple ones in America, that's less races for other countries to have. Something like that. Got it in one. Now I just let the others uh, finish. The captain crash is underneath the course. Yeah, that shot was more difficult than it looked. <laughs> I've not done hockey mode before. Oh, I need to change the game catch a bit to golf with your friends, don't I? Let's uh, do that real quick. I'll wait him. work. <laughs> right, just smack the hell out of it. Oh, that was a great shot, as it turned out. This is foreign to me, this, this mode. Oh, come on. Didn't know we had the most OP goalie ever, but there you go. Oh, that was that would have been good. Did he get it? I think he did. I believe I didn't get that in, in at least two. That's ridiculous. Oh. And then I do a shot like that, that makes me think, maybe, just maybe I was born for hockey. Hmm. 
One thing I know I'm not good at is dunk mode. I've tried that before and I'm rubbish at it. Okay. They changed the course a little bit as well to accommodate for the uh, the goalkeeper. I'm going to try something. And it didn't work. <laughs> I can't see because my own blooming satellite dish is in the way. Works. Who's that? Uh... Captain Cash is having a few issues. He, need, he needs tissues for his issues. As they say. Oh, there he goes again. Nope. Ew. Okay. That makes things a bit more interesting. Let's... Oh, I'm on the next hole. <laughs> yeah, the puck handles so differently to the ball. There's a sentence. There's a sentence for you. Blech, for you. How did you do that? <laughs> there you go, you got it, you got it. I could easily have a mare on a different hole though. Like, these courses are not easy. Nah, that didn't work at all. Oh, really? Actually, this might help me a bit. Just stay there. That's where I wanted to be. Right, this is either going to be brilliant or stupid. One of the two. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Thank you. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. I'm going to just say that much. Right. Dee, 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 dee. Right, can I get that in from there? A good angle. Okay, this goal is OP. Oh, I think we've got somebody who's AFK. <laughs> If you can shout like that, he's alright. 
my theory. Steady. Oh, you are joking, mate. Okay. Steady. Nice trick shot. <laughs> I thought to God that went through the goalkeeper, but never mind. Go, 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 go. Oh. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Not gonna lie, this is quite a fun game mode actually. He shoots! He scores! Can't do the target trick, it would seem. There we go, that's what we want. Oh, why is it there like that? Hang on, flat. Try something. Oh! Hang <laughs> on, is that a. S okay, it's just a random sword blade sticking out of a tree. Wait a minute, is that a target in the tree there? Why would that be there? That nearly worked. I'm just a bit... There we go. Now, slight problem, the goal is angled a bit weird, so if I just... Tanya, hockey is now hockey is now my jam on this game. It's golf, or it's hockey. Weren't the marbles on stream devs meant to be adding golf like two years ago? What came of that? No, Captain Cash, you're going the wrong way, mate. I think he's going. <clears throat> right. Goals down there, so I would imagine the trick is the same, really, isn't it? Oh, that's not what I want. Mind you, that's not too bad. Oh, we got it as well. Well, I've won this, but... Oh, what is this? I could actually get this in here. Did he get it as well? He did. Just passed off really wildly. Okay. Oh god, is this even possible with a puck? Eh, it must be. The ones have done it otherwise. Oh. What if I tried it like this? Okay, yeah, that's what you do. Not 
quite like that. There we go. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Just found it. Just. I had to take a chance there, and a big chance as well. I took a shot. Oh dear. We're not doing that again. Although I've got to say, it was kind of good fun, so... <laughs> I'm kind of okay with that. Classic. It says classic, right? I could have sworn it was a classic last time. We're going to be in the forest again, this time playing properly though. So far, so good. Matching each other nicely. Oh, it's Green Hill Zone Act 1. Levels here, of, uh, of golfing greatness here. Oh no. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. I've still got it at this game, and that's good to know. <laughs> oh, this one's got a special trick, hasn't it? If I can remember it. That's not it. <laughs> it's something like that, though, isn't it? How do you do this then? Did they change the physics or something? Is it just straight ahead now? No, it's not. I'll give it one more go, then I'll go the proper route. I'll go I'll go slightly to the right. He's doing it as well, shall I just keep on doing it for a bit? It's one more go, one more go. There we go, that got it. It's one of those... 
It's one of those pixel perfect ones, you know what I mean? Frivolous spot. Yeah, I didn't like having the uh, duck on top of my on top of my particular golf ball because of the way the duck animation works. If you're going like from one direction to another, it just looks a bit strange to me. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh, now this I've forgotten what you do here. Is it just over two power? No, it's not. We can't do this, can we? <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice. I think we're pretty much matching each other, aren't we? Yeah, not far off. Only two shots in it. Oh, it's this one. Oh dear. <laughs> that wasn't what I wanted. Oh yeah. Now that, that was a good shot. Uh, is he going the right way? Here he is. Can he get just to that bit there? Yep, yeah, that works. This is the one with the tube, isn't it? That shot takes a bit of lining up. I'm not sure where my opponent's gone. I don't know if I'm on my own now. Oh no, he's there. Still taking crazy shots and chances. There you go. All I can think of with this course is who lives in a pineapple under the sea? So in the other one, porous is he. That's literally all I can think of. Okay. And then here we go. Okay, and then... Not how I would normally do it, but I'll take it. I'm on my own now. So I will quit out of that. 
so you don't have to listen to that uh, god awful music anymore. Oh, volcano, nice. My favourite course. Going to the volcano. Never mind. <laughs> God. I was planning to clickbait headlines from the football feed. Hold him on! That's not what's gonna work. God, I can make sure I can't be playing my TV. That should work. Okay. Does it? <laughs> what are they doing? Not quite sure how he's done that. Oh, I want to see how he's done that. making it to land. He's not jumping or anything. How is he stuck? Look at this. Oh, there we go. Now he's out. <laughs> That's not the weirdest thing I've ever seen a golf ball do in this game. That was so unusual. <laughs> right, now I've got to hope I don't bounce back. There we go. That happens a lot when I just end up bouncing backwards because I hit the wrong bit of the uh, bankable edge, and that was a Shit. There we go. Oops. So after tonight, next stream should be December the twenty eighth and twenty ninth. Those are my next two streaming days, with any luck. If all goes to it should. If all, if all goes to plan. Depending on it depended on a few couple of things going well, but you know.
Nem lei. Uh, let's have a quick look at some stuff here. I'll stay up there, stay up there. Thank you. Go, 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 go. Nice. Just looking at something on the on my YouTube notifications. Apparently Taff has got to 29,000 subscribers. Congratulations to him, that's a fantastic achievement. My YouTube's been well weird lately. Like, I've had a video on YouTube that's got to over 20,000 views. And it's like a nothing video of like a minute's work. It's a minute long video that I took at the Donington Historic Festival in 2018. I just started randomly getting comments on it. Oh, boy. And for some reason, the algorithm's just gone completely crazy. And it's got more than 10 times the number of views that my next most popular video has got. I'll have a little look now. I go into my, my videos real quick. Sort by most viewed. Right. <clears throat> this video has got over 28,000 views, 301 likes. My second most popular video it's got 2.8k views, so precisely 10 times more views. <laughs> it's a minute long video of a Formula 1 car being uh, fired up. That I uploaded four, it's had four years and it's only just now started to get traction. That's just such a weird thing. I've only got three videos on my channel out of all of them that are above a thousand views. And then weirdly, the Sonic the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, this the Sonic the Hedgehog um, no death run that I did where I was where I was successful. I put that on YouTube, 938 views. So that's the most watched uh, Twitch pod on the YouTube channel. I'm just like wondering though, with that 20k views, what the heck is going on? Like it's got loads of comments, loads of views, loads of likes. <laughs> and it's got to the point where I'm almost convinced I'm being view botted or something. Oh, that's the only, that's the only um, answer. 28k views, 2.8k views, 1,000 views, 968 views, 938, 750, 750, 698, 528, 522, 510, 477, 411. In my top 10. This has got 8 comments.
<laughs> Fair enough. But what I love about my Donington Park videos in particular is uh, is that you know the comments come from like people that were there as spectators sometimes I mean there's one video a Jaguar Historic Challenge video where one of the marshals actually that was working at that part of the track commented uh, there's also um, even drivers commenting as well on the videos which is actually awesome to see And my, the first video that I ever uploaded to YouTube was a walk through the British F3 paddock. That's got 262 views in the same amount of time, because I uploaded them all roughly at the same time. The 2018 videos that I saved. I think to go back on. Go. I know there's a hole in one possible there, but I've never got it. What the hell is going on here? What the... Lag. <laughs> Don't you just love golf with your friends lag? It's just the best thing ever when you're spectating, it really is. I love the wacky things that the... Uh, that the golf balls do when you're waiting. Let's have a little look at the comments on some of these videos then that I've got. There's one particularly. Right, we thought there was oil on the track in the Jaguar Historic series. Not sure if the, the commentator there was oil at the Craners, but there wasn't any. It then goes on to say that um, he was one of the marshals to drag the bonnet and wings off the track. So, if he says there wasn't any, that's good enough for me. It may have been me that told the commentators. <laughs> But why were so many cars sliding around at the old hairpin then, if there wasn't any oil on the track? Weird. Jinx. Oh, I just snuck through. Because looking at the video that I made, that I recorded, it looked like there was something on the track, but... I don't know. <laughs> there was a lot of E-type Jaguars sliding around everywhere, I'll say that much. What the heck is going on in this game? Oh dear. But the Jaguar Historic Challenge does look like a great um, series. There's no denying that. I've still not seen the um, Uruguay X Pre final either. That's something I should maybe watch at some point tonight. Come on. Oh, perfect. That'll do, mate. I feel a bit for King Midas here, he's having trouble. Is he lagging or something? Because this is... I've never seen this amount of... like, lagginess for a golf ball in this game ever. You know?
It's funny to watch though. <laughs> oh, there you go. I wonder what his ping is right now. That's next level stuff right there. I mean, when I've played Rocket League with really high ping, it's been incredibly unplayable. I mean, his shots look to be going in okay, though, so... Well, I'll say that, he's over there now, so I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Oh, not quite. If he stopped, I honestly don't blame him because he was lagging quite a lot. Anyway, didn't I earlier in the, in the marble stream? The news. What I didn't look at was first of all Motorsport magazine. Alessandro Agag, Formula E founder to disrupt with more green mace racing. Alessandro Agag has even more plans for green racing championships that will raise environmental awareness. Well, there you go. Is George Russell already stronger than Lewis Hamilton? No. Yeah, great. Uh, what else we got? Uh, racer. Magazine, nope, nothing major there, just Cadillac. And their test session, that was like a half an ice age ago. IMSA's website. Still leading with the Lexus driver finalised, drive, driver, fi Lexus driver lineup finalisation for Daytona. That's about a month away now as well. <clears throat> you don't get much of a break in the racing world. In fact, for my Facebook group, December is the only month where we don't have any racing at all to cover. Because in January, in January, there's the Daytona 24 hours. That's pretty huge. And then February is Asia Le Mans series. So it's not like it's not like F1 where there's nothing. Uh, what else we got here? Oh yeah, the ACA website. What are they leading with in their features? Ah, oh, the best car liveries of them on. Might save them for the week between Christmas and New Year now. If I'm being honest, because I'll need some content for that week. I bet the race haven't really done anything. Well, they, they, the race take virtual and online racing and esports more seriously than they do WEC stuff. Hmm. 
That rain outside. That's on my headset. I thought I was hearing rain outside for a second, so I know it's my headset. Ah, that's not good. Come on. Oh, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Thank you. Quarter to twelve. I won't go beyond midnight. I was going to do another Marbles Grand Prix, but I won't bother with that now. Qatar now wants to host the Olympic Games after the success of the 2022 World Cup. Well, good luck to them, I guess. Don't even care. Waiting for this guy to. Well, waiting for the Thomas run. I think he's AFK, to be honest. Post to F1 and the F1 group. Two posts that aren't F1. And I talk about an F1 engineer potentially doing the Asian Le Mans series. And we've got an F1 driver possibly going to the Dakar rally and Mick Schumacher, who's no longer an F1 driver, doing something that's not even Formula One. So, you know. Whatever. Even though the story that I tried to share was in the Formula One section of a website that they use regularly, but you know, there you go. There you go. I'll probably do one more, one more round after this. See if we get anything better than this. I normally end up winning golf games on this fairly easily, so, you know. Shouldn't be too, too difficult. I either win really easily or I get beaten by a huge amount in this game. Like, there's no... There's no in-between. Why have I just done that for? I'm just taking the hair out of the brush. I can't do anything with it. Taking the hair out of my hairbrush. Dee. Okay, uh, I've got how you do this now. Nope, that's not it. Oh, for God's sake. Nope. That kind of worked. I'm 
long as I can see the rock, which I can. And that cuts out needing to do... What's that? Oh, it's just a... Oh, didn't somebody end up behind there once? That's quite funny. <laughs> Don't go back down the hill again. Okay. And there we are. <laughs> Easy win for yours truly. <laughs> Even without him being AFK, I think I'd still want to be honest, so... I ain't too fussed. There's my complaint that there's my complaints about the F1 grip I used to run out of the way. <laughs> oh, we can't deny your post about an F1 engineer, leading Mercedes engineer going to Blumen. Um, what do you call it? Race in the Asia Le Mans series. Oh, but we can talk about a former F1 driver who's no longer an F1 driver doing something that's got nothing to do with F1 whatsoever. And another F1 personality going to do something that's nothing to do with F1 either. But, oh no, an F1 engineer going to do Age of the Monster Oh, we can't have that, can we? <laughs> oh dear. <sighs> right, one more. And then we'll call it a weekend. Let's see what we get. Do I really want to do forest again? There's plenty of people in, so... I guess. <laughs> There's no Le Mans 24 Hours DVD this year, I don't think, either. Hang on, let me just go to Duke Video real quick. I need to check this. There's the F1 Championship review. Oh, God. TT 2022 review. British Superbikes. World Rally Champion... World Rally Review 2022, Blu-ray. Oh god. Yeah, there's no Le Mans. They really did not renew the contract, did they? That's actually remarkable. Unless someone else has taken it on. It's 2021. Let's go to... Let's do Le Mans real quick. Uh, Le... Mon. Yeah. Yeah, there, all the others are there. 2021 is there. Really cool box sets though of like the 80s and 90s at Le Mans. Might consider getting them at some point. Twenty twenty list of two thousand edition twenty thousand and five. I've got the two thousand eight review somewhere, that's pretty cool. Let's see what havoc they've got, I don't know. I'm in the Duke Video website now, have or havoc.
Yeah, they put all their old Havocs onto DVD. <laughs> Ultimate Havoc, though. Six hours worth. Three discs. I don't know is is that just a Havoc series because they've got like the individual Havocs on DVD which I may have to try and get actually oh the best of Havoc 1 DVD is rubbish by the way it's, uh, it's all out of order and the audio becomes so out of sync it's unreal stick with the VHS and transfer it to DVD that way Okay, what about Crash? There's a little edition called Crash here. <laughs> Crash Volume 1. I'm window shopping on the Duke uh, website. Wales Rally GB. Volumes 1 to 3, oh god. They've got a series called Crash that I never knew about. Two's got an American Le Mans series. They kind of updated the Havoc series, but didn't call it Havoc, which is a bit of a shame. Hmm. Yeah. Back to golf for a minute, anyway. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, do they have any of their um hang on. They put their nineteen nineties BTCC reviews onto DVD as well. Start at 91 though, not start at 1990, do they? <laughs> yeah, they don't have the, the, eight, the 88, 89, 90 reviews, do they? Because they were done by a different company. So they bought out the sports scene library. As well, then, did you? Okay. Make, kind of makes sense, I guess. 
because the early BTCC reviews, I believe, were done by uh, BHP Sport. Barry Hinchcliffe Productions. They also had British F3 as well back in those days. Because back then, British Formula 3 and the British Touring Car Championship were on the same um, race weekends. Which made for a pretty intense meeting, actually. I went to the 1991 BTCC finale. That was a race where the late Great Will Hoy took the championship. And that Formula 3 was part of that pack. Have I got, I've got somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. I've got somewhere in here the programme of from the 1991 British Grand Prix. I can tell you, possibly, potentially, what was on that weekend. It's in this drawer somewhere. Oh god, European Le Mans series. That time I went there. Back when I used to buy programmes. What's in here? Oh, hang on, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. 1991 British Grand Prix, the, the official programme for the British Grand Prix. My cousin gave me this. Right, so I'll be able now to tell you what was on that race weekend. Hang on, where is it? Because I've got a calendar at the back here. Here we go. Yeah. BRDC Championship Finals meeting at Silverstone, that's what I went to. Uh, oh, I'll just do this shot real quick and I'll tell you what was on the on the uh, on the card. Oh what was the what was the British Grand Prix meeting like? British Grand Prix qualifying. F1. Oh god, there's a code as well, I've got to try and work it out, Jesus. So in addition to Formula 1, Formula 3, is that GM Vox or Lotus Championship? Uh, where are we? Single-seaters, GM. Yeah, GM Formula Vox or Lotus Euro Series. Jaguars, that's pretty self-explanatory, but I assume... Yeah, that's the XJR series. That was the... That would be the precursor to the Porsche Super Cup. British F3. The Dunlop Rover Turbo Cup and the BTCC. Meeting that I went to... Had... CS, that's Clubman Sports... Uh, Mazda MX-5 Championship. Those were brand new back then. Uh, British F3, British Formula Vauxhall Lotus, Formula Ford 1600s, uh, the BTCC obviously, and um, oh yeah, the is that du hold on, is that Dunlop? Rover Turbo Cup, or is it Rover Metros? I think they're two separate championships. Ro uh, Rover GTIs and the Metros. I do remember that now, actually, because one of them nearly... Because on the final lap of the Metro race, the leader nearly spun off at Cops Corner, where I was. I could have sworn... There was like a Clubman's Porsche race that weekend as well. That's not mentioned. I feel like that's a I feel like that's a thing that should have been mentioned. I think this Porsche Carrera Cup is one of the support races as well, but it's not listed here. For the British Grand Prix weekend, unless I'm missing something completely, which I probably am to be fair. Oh yeah, Jaguar and then PC, yeah, PC would be Porsche Carrera, yeah. I didn't see that. <laughs> oh, 
But I love the way that the um, I love the way this program is laid out, though. You know, it's adverts for cars in here that are from back in the day. The Auto Trader BMW team. Nick Whale and Nick Baird driving the BMW M3 is sponsored by Auto Trader. Didn't do very well though. Let's have the entry lists in here for like Formula 3 as well. Because they were at um, the meeting I went to as well. I know Barry Keller and Coulthard are in it. I'm kind of curious as to what drivers I may have seen. Great um, driver guide though, like one full page given to each team for the driver pictures and picture of the car and that. Nice touch. I've not seen a modern day Formula One program, so I don't know, but. Of all the items that I've got, like tucked away somewhere, this is probably the coolest thing I've got. Or among the coolest thing I've got, like Formula One literature wise. Because it's like, it's like of the moment. It's like an of the moment kind of booklet. There's no entry list, I'm amazed by that. Like writing it, there's a form guide for the Formula One, but there's no entry list in here. I'm kind of shocked by that. But the program opens then with a um, so you turn the page first page of the program, there's contents, contents page, season so far, circuit information map, all that sort of stuff. Then you have an advert for Vauxhall, and then we have um, like sort of opening statements in the program, as it were. So you've got uh, one from Jean-Marie Balestre, president of the FIA back then, and there's even a, a full-page statement here from uh, Prin His Royal Highness Prince Michael of Kent, who was back then president of the Automobile Royal Automobile Club. In fact. Um, Queen Elizabeth's late husband, uh, Prince Philip, was actually president and sitting of the British Racing Drivers Club, which not many people are aware of. So he had quite a he had quite a hand in like um, motorsport in the sort of 70s and 80s. In fact, it was it was Prince Philip that opened the new. Um, as his role with the BRDC, he had a uh, he opened the new pit complex at Silverstone. Not the not the, the one with one with the wing, the what we would now know as the national pit pits. He opened that building. So among those taking part in Formula Three in 1991, Ricard Rydell, Jordi Genet, Gilles de Ferran, Rubens Barrichello, David Coulthard, Marcel Albers, Hideki Noda. So of all of these drivers, then. He went into Formula One. Uh, Jordi Genet, I think, did briefly. Gilles de Ferran went on to IndyCar. Ricard Ryder went to Touring Cars. Barry Keller and Coulthard went on to Formula One. Uh, Marcel Albers, I think, went into Sports Cars. Hideki Noda went into Formula One. Olivier Beretta went into Formula One. Mika Van Hool vanished into obscurity. <laughs> uh, Paul Stewart, son of Jackie Stewart, he went on to help run the Stewart Foot Grand Prix team before his untimely death a few years later. Nigel Smith, I think he went on to touring cars. There's names I've not heard of, like Cy Sandy Brody, Robert Mears. Robert Mears, I wonder if he's any relation to Rick Mears. He might have gone into IndyCar briefly. Hugo Spowers, never heard of him. Stephen Arnold. He became, went on to various national championships. And Alan Carruthers went back to his homeland, I think. There's like random bits of headlines to do with Silverstone. One of the big stories is that there was a digger that fell on the toilet block at Cops Corner that had to be rebuilt before the British Grand Prix. 
No one really talks about that. Advert for Renault. Then we've got uh, the. Then they've got the 1991 F1 season so far. How did I get onto this? <laughs> I don't know how I got onto this, but this is a pretty cool thing we're doing. Um, Let's do this shot real quick and have a look, further look through the program. So, the 91 season so far, Ayrton Senna won the first four races, but Nigel Manson was beginning to come back in the Williams at this point. He'd, he'd won three races in a row. He'd, he'd won the previous race up to this point in France. He won the British Grand Prix. He won the next race in Germany as well, whilst Ayrton Senna was basically floundering a bit in the McLaren. That's, that's the basic story of it all. There's a few nice pictures in there. Advert for Marlborough. Uh, we've got all of the British Gra a, a table of all of the British Grand Prix so far, from 1948 up to 1990. Gives you the top three. Excuse me, of each from each race, and they've included the Brands Hatch races and the entry races in this table as well, which I think is a really good thing they've done. I'm on page 26 now, uh, Tag Hoya, Hoya advert, and then we've got the uh, team guides, one page per team. Honda advert, a Braun advert for Tyrrell. Williams on one page, Cannon advert on the other, which is... So, you've got the McLaren advert, the McLaren team guide. With a, hon with a double page Honda advert after it. Then you've got an advert for Braun, and then the form guide for Tyr the team guide for Tyrrell. And Braun was Tyrrell's main sponsor for 1991. Honda was a McLaren's engine supplier in 91. I've just noticed how they've done this. Then you've got Williams' team guide. An advert for Canon, a Williams title sponsor. Then you've got Brabham, random advert for Longines. Longines, Long Longines, sorry, the the watch people. Lovely double page advert for the Sierra Cosworth 4x4. Oh yeah, the Ford Sierra Cosworth is my favourite non-F1 racing car. Then we lose the adverts for a few moments because I've got. One side of the page we've got uh, footwork, Porsche, and on the other side we've got Team Lotus. Advert, Castrol. Then we've got Fond Metal, their one car team, Leighton House. Leighton House's only claim to fame as I'm aware was selling really dodgy properties, <laughs> and they went bust as a result. So alongside a BT advert. Oh, I'll have it for the Rover 216 GTI, and uh, on the other page we've got AGS. Benetton. I'll have it for trainers. Delara Minardi. On the same page. Um, advanced bookings for the 1992 British Grand Prix, available now. Then we come to Ferrari Team Guide. So they've got an advert for Pioneer, one of their sponsors, on one page. And on the other page, details of the Ferrari drivers. It's literally, it, the, the team guide is literally just pictures of the car and the two drivers with like the driver's information like nationality, bought, date of birth, when they first started the Grand Prix, how many Grand Prix they've been in, how many pole positions and fastest laps they've got. Nothing really that that major. I'll look for Silverstone Leisure Wear. Double page. We've got LaRousse. F1. Greg Bernard and Aguirre Suzuki drove for them. I forgot, I forgot Bernard was in Formula 1. Because Eric Bernard became a prominent figure in um, things like the Paris Dakar, I believe. 
I want to say. As well as like touring cars and stuff. So did Gabriella Tarquini for um, AGS actually. The car that no one saw in action was Coloni, because they always end up in the wall in pre-qualifying. <laughs> That's funny actually. That is actually quite funny. Because you've got the team guide for Coloni on page 58. On page 59 I'll give you the background to why I think this is so funny. Coloni was the car in 91 that was always seen being in the barriers and crashing all the time. So the page 59 advert is for circuit sweepers. <laughs> That's funny. You've got advert for Fujifilm, title sponsor of the time for Jordan F1 in their debut season. So they're on the next page. That's 1661. We can order other programs. Ah, oh, you can. Oh, this is information about the uh, upcoming races at uh, Germany, Hungary, and Belgium. Oh, it tells you the support races for these as well. So German Grand Prix support races. They're Formula Three Thousand, obviously. That was with every single European race. GM Lotus Euro Series and the Porsche Carrera Cup. Hungarian Grand Prix, GM Lotus Euro Series, the Ford Fiesta Cup, <laughs> the Ford Fiesta Cup, you wouldn't get that today, and Historics. That's kind of cool. And I'll give you the Belgian Grand Prix support package in a second. For 91, it was Formula 3000. Jaguar XJR15 Challenge, GM Lotus Euro Series, Porsche Cup, and the Belgian Touring Car Championship. Ooh. That's on page 62. 63 is the Moderna team. <coughs> I didn't remember the two car for it as well. Eric, Eric van der Poel drove for them that year. Oh, yeah, he nearly got a point at Imola, didn't he? What's the, is that a double page advert? Picture of a, I think a Lamborghini Countach, I want to say. Or is it a Ferrari? I can't quite tell. But it's an advert for Duckham's lubricants. Then we've got more previews of uh, extra meetings at Silverstone in the coming year. It's advertising the Chris's International Historic Festival. Including can -Am cars, you've got uh, air displays, got classic Cobras, classic F1 cars from the from back in the day. It's basically what we would now call the Silverstone Historic uh, International Meeting. One hundred eighty cars. And then we get into support races. So we've got the Jaguar Sport XJR Championship preview. And each each championship has its own circuit preview, which I circuit guide, which I find quite interesting because all these different championships require different car, different driving techniques and different sort of speeds and gears and what have you to drive them. What I love about the Jaguar circuit preview, circuit guide is that it's done by Tiffany Dell. Tiffany Dell talks you around a flying lap of Silverstone with the Jaguar X, uh, XJR Challenge. That's pretty, that's pretty cool, actually. That's a double page spread. We've also got a, a um, John Watson Performance Driving Centre advert on page, 60, uh, page 70. Uh, then we get to page 72, which is more of the Jaguar XJR Challenge. Oh, we can see who was um, driving in that, actually. It does mention some names. Let's see if we recognise any. Just get this shot done and then I'll read them out to you. Let's 
So on the driving roster for the Jaguars then, uh, well, it's quite a selection of people actually from the looks of things. It, right, so we had people I've heard of actually, Derek Warwick, Bob Wallach, great sports car driver, these David Jones, uh, Juan Fanjo, the nephew of Juan Manuel Fanjo, David Brabham, XF1 driver, um, Win Percy, Australian touring car legend, Matsuaki Tsunada, and Yojiro Tarada, never heard of them. John Nielsen, his most famous moment was nearly ending up in the harbour at Monaco in an F3 car. David Leslie, absolute touring car legend and also um, great sports car driver in his own right. Tiffany Dell, of course, the, the coolest guy you could probably have driving a racing car. Uh, Cor Oyser, another sports car veteran. Ian Flux, Armin Harner, both great touring car drivers. Ian Flux um, also, I think, was, I want to say he was a journalist as well at, at some level. Matt Aitken, who went on to be a Formula 3 star. Uh, then next page is thanking some other sponsors. And then we've got Formula 3. Already discussed who was in that. Their circuit guide is done by Oswaldo Negri. They've missed a trick there. They could have had someone like David Coulthard doing it. That would have been pretty cool. Oh, God, here we go. With my blooming failing of Pachinko. Not sure why they got Oswaldo Negri to do it, but they could have got someone like David Coulthard to do the circuit guide. That would have been much more appropriate given it's a British round, British Grand Prix round, and he's a British driver. And in fact, that year in F3, he was a British driver that everyone was really watching as well. Gilles de Ferran, Ricard Rydal, we've already seen those names. <clears throat> oh, Oswaldo Negri, oof. Alan Carruthers, John Lee, Ren Rene, Rene Wadman, Ian Jacobs. Tom Christensen was appearing that, that weekend as well. Pedro Diniz as well, he was in it. Another, another future F1 driver, Tom Christensen, Mr. Le Mans, racing in Formula 3 that weekend. And then we've got the BTCC, after an advert for Le Bats, which is a title sponsor of one of the teams in the BTCC. There's a great quote here. Murray Walker, BBC Grand Prix commentator and enthusiastic voice behind the SO Championships TV coverage, was moved to comment recently that he had no doubt that touring cars were now more popular with the viewers than F1. I'm not so sure about that, but he's got a point. I went to the finale of this and met uh, Rob Gravitt. Andy Middlehurst, Mike... No, Mark Smith this time, Andy Middlehurst, Dave Brody, Dennis Leach, all great names, Frank Sidney was in there, Ray Belm, and Will Hoy, of course, in there as well. Mark Hales, journalist, Andy Rouse and Gary Ailes were there. Jonathan Palmer was driving at that time as well, and of course, touring car great, touring car royalty, Steve Sofa. Ian Forrest, David Leslie. David Laser was doing double duty, that's what's Ian Flux. <laughs> <coughs> and the circuit guy for the BTCC is done by John Cleland. Who else? Who better? The GM Lotus Euro Series. Who was in this then? Oh, Radio Silverstone is on page 86. Page 87 is the preview for the GM um, Lotus Euro Series. Pedro Lamy. 
He would be in F1 pretty soon. Who else to kind of see? Mikael Jonsson. Jonathan McGall, who'd been in F3 the year before. Gareth Rees. Another name that I have heard of. But only like at the, the, the Formula Ford level, not like at Formula... Not anything higher than that, really. I'm not saying he was a bad driver, though, because he wasn't. <laughs> uh, Calvin Burt would win the um, Formula 3 Championship a couple of years later. Uh, Warren Hughes. And Pierre's Hunisset, who does the uh, circuit guide as well. Pierre's Hunisset. I've never heard of him, honestly. So he clearly didn't do that much. And on, that's on page 88. At page 89, we've got the Porsche Carrera Cup preview. And great pictures of the Porsches racing. So a great picture of them all together at uh, what looks to me like Zolder in Belgium. Any names I recognise? Not really. There's an advert for Porsche right in the middle of it. A double spread. Oscar Larari. Ah, I've heard of him. Marcus Oesterleik. Yep. German touring car star. Uh, no, Marcus Oesterleik was uh, trucks, actually. That's a name I've heard of. Oscar Larari was a former F1 driver. And the... Track guide is done by Tony Dron. So now we have the Rover GTIs driving in that. It would seem uh, on page 93 now. Uh, we have Dave Loudon, Ian Taylor, Owen Hall, Nigel, Mark Hazel went on into touring cars. Peter Baldwin, Nigel Pesch, Nick Carr, Mark Humphrey. Yeah, Dave Loudon gives the track guide for that. About right. Random adverts on page 95. Big map of the circuit on page 96 and 97. Uh, a thing about a whole double page spread about the air displays at the British Grand Prix weekend. Shark display team. Red arrows. The lot. <laughs> Battle of Britain Memorial Flight. Royal Marines Free Fall Parachute Team. Wow. Oh, there's more. This is a more than a double page, but this is just a lot here. There's a Stunt Motorcycle Display Team. Historic Car Parade. Royal Navy Historic Flight. The John Watson Performance Driving Centre Parade. The Red Arrows. All through the three-day weekend. And then you've got... What? The Silverstone fixture list for 1991. Oh, let's have a look. British Grand Prix catering. Here we go. Right, so, in 1991... If you went to the British Grand Prix in 1991, these are the prices you'd be paying, okay? Quarter pounder burger bun. one pound forty-five. With cheese, one pound sixty. Jumbo sausage roll, one pound thirty. Fish and chips, two pound. Jacket potato and butter, a pound. Canned soft drinks, fifty p. Cup of tea, forty p. Coffee, forty p. Donuts, thirty p each. Jacket potato and one filling, one pound forty. If you want two fillings, it's one pound seventy. A pork roll is one pound sixty, and toasted sandwiches start at one twenty-five. A different world, isn't it? An absolutely different world. And then it ends with an advertisement for the Supercart Grand Prix and a feature randomly on circuit sweepers. <laughs> oh, and um, information notices, grandstand seats, uh, where to go if you've got missing persons, animal regulations and stuff like that. And an advert for BP, and that's it. That's a look through the British Grand Prix programme from 1991. Absolutely fascinating. It's one of the best 
programs I've got. And it's in, still in good condition. It costs £3.50. I wonder how much it would cost today. Anyway. That's going to do it for this. Um, for this stream. Um, I don't know if there's anybody live to raid or not. But we can always have a little look, can't we? Let's see who's live. Uh, Training Hobbit's live again. I could raid... I raided him last night. Let's see if anybody else is on. Uh, Christy. I'm tempted. I might have to raid Trending Hobbit again. He's got a lot of views, but he's playing. He's playing a scary game, actually. I blackish. Nah. No, we're gonna raid Trending Hobbit. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for this. Um advert to end. I couldn't even tell you what this advert's for, to be honest with you. Dee, dee, dee. I've gone half an hour more than, longer than I intended to, because I was busy reading the program. <clears throat> oh, it's Dead Island 2. I've never even heard of Dead Island 1. <laughs> yeah, he's in the middle of a moment, so we'll go over there and raid him. Raided him yesterday, but there's not anybody else on. It's not raid. So, like I say, my next stream will be on the 28th, I believe, of December. Until then, uh, have a have a great Christmas. That's a bit weird to say, isn't it? Have a great Christmas. <laughs> I'll see you again very, very soon. Take care, guys. Goodbye.